A longtime teacher and coach at Bloom Trail High School in Steger is being accused of grooming and sexually assaulting a student in the early 2000s. It really just started my sophomore year. Choosing to remain a Jane Doe, she has filed a civil lawsuit against the teacher, the school, and District 206. We are not naming the teacher because the staff member has not been charged. The alleged victim says the relationship began to escalate her junior year. He took interest in my life and my family and my hobbies, and um, it just seemed like like he cared. She says the teacher was her first sexual experience. The alleged abuse took place off and on campus throughout her years in high school. At the time, the former Bloom Trail High School student was too scared to speak up. It was very clear to me that if I spoke up, his life would be over, um, he would go to jail, like he would lose everything. Um, so I was scared. In addition, she says the teacher convinced her she was a willing participant and not a victim. She says their relationship was common knowledge throughout the school. We believe uh, various people, various adults, staff members within the school uh, who knew that there was something inappropriate going on throughout those years. and never never put a stop to it. The plaintiff's attorney hopes the lawsuit will finally put a stop to it. Matt Passon has already heard from a number of others telling similar stories about the teacher who is also a coach. And while the school cannot discuss legal and personnel matters, in a letter to parents, Bloom Trail principal Glennis Keene says, quote, what we can share is that the safety of our students is our number one priority, and the listed staff member has been placed on administrative leave while the district conducts a thorough investigation, end quote. Jane Doe hopes her lawsuit will encourage other victims to speak out. They should not be ashamed. They shouldn't feel shame. The only people that should feel shame are the adults. Jane Doe also reported the alleged abuse to the police. She says it took her years to come forward because it was therapy that finally made her realize that she was a victim. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.